So our sample bed is 1,000 feet and we're gonna be doing 50 seats per foot. 50 seats per foot tends to be general, basic, run of the mill, um, average for a seating. Full to afternoon sun, we're gonna assume it's clay to clay loam soil and it's gonna have summer dry conditions. So in July and August, it's, it's getting pretty crunchy and, and rain might not be around as often. So 50 seeds per foot, okay. Let's do 50% of those seeds are grass and 50% of those seeds are forbs or flowers. The reason we're doing 50% grass, and I know a lot of people will think, oh, let's do 20 or 30% because I don't want to have a grass dominated landscape. The wonderful thing about grass is it is a fantastic site stabilizer. It's a beautiful matrix. It's a wonderful green mulch. And it is by far, I mean, it's by far its best aspect is this weed control attributes. You sow in, especially uh, Budalua curdipendula, Cytos grama, that thing from seed just grows so fast in the first year. Um, behind it would probably be something like uh, Schizocarium, Schizocarium scoparium, little blue stem. That will take a little bit longer to get going, but both of these are gonna shade out weed seeds fantastically in the second growing season. And they're gonna have a hard time going. All right, so of, of uh, we're gonna break this down a little bit more. So we got 50% grass, 50% forbs. Uh, we, we wanna have diversity, right? We've seen all the reason why we want this diversity for habitat and aesthetics. 35% are gonna be warm season grass of the grasses and the other 50% are gonna be cool season grasses and sedge. So those cool season grasses and sedge, again, will be helping give us color and cover in the shoulder seasons of spring and fall. Of the flowers, we're gonna have 10% legumes. So we're adding some nitrogens, fertilized with soil. 10% are gonna be annuals for first year color and first year cover in weed competition. And then the majority of the forbs are gonna be perennials. That's the 30%. And you bet we can break this even down even further and we will break it down further. So if you have this in your head, well, let's move on. So that percentage, any of these percentages can be tweaked, right? If your soil analysis test shows you have infertile conditions, maybe you want to add more legumes. Um, maybe you want to increase grass or sedge um, if you have a, a leaner or soil or a slope site. So there's all these little caveats, right? Up to one third of warm season prairie grass roots are going to die each year naturally amending soil to break down. So that's something I think you always want to consider in, in, in your landscape. You know, these, these plants are going to be doing a lot of wonderful work for you. You don't have to do as much prep on the site as you think. And, and please, for the love of God, do not till that soil. You're going to be bringing all kinds of dormant weed seeds to the surface. Um, it's just it's just going to be a mess. All right, here we go. This is our first sample calculation for a specific species in your custom seed mix. It is, again, Budalua curtipendula cytos grandma. Can you tell that I like this grass? I really do. I really do. And it's it, it's even cool flowering. This little orange anther is coming down. Bees bees come to actually get the pollen from the grass. It's just, it's really cool. Okay. So you're going to be sowing your garden at 50 seeds per square foot. And we're going to assume that um, you're just going to be using 30, I mean, for, for your warm, you're just going to be using Cytos Grandma for your warm season grass. So you know that's 35%. So 35% of 50 is going to be 17 seeds per square foot. Now you have a thousand square foot garden. A thousand times 17 means you need 17,000 seeds of Cytos Grama. Now we know that there are 6,600 seeds per ounce in Cytos Grama, of Cytos Grama, because we've gone to Prairie Moon Nursery, which is the easy place to go to. We've, we've searched Cytos Grama and we see listed there on the profile page, 6,600 seeds per ounce for Cytos Grama. That means we need 2.58 ounces of Cytos Grama on our 1,000 square foot garden. Easy, right? I cannot wait to teach math to my kid when he gets older. All right, so we just have one warm season grass in the sample garden. I suggest you have more than one. Psst. But for our garden, just one is the Budalua cardipendula. There we go, 2.58 ounces. Look down, we have 
So we're using 50% grasses, right? 35% warm season, 50% cool season. Here we're gonna blue, we're gonna throw in some sedge, Carex brevior, Carex rosea. These are the calculations for them. You can see it's, it's not a lot of seed um, for a 1,000 foot uh, square foot garden.